Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to a Halo Wars 2 strategy video. My name is Andrew from Team Respawn, and what this is going to focus on is uh, a jump pack brute rush in Halo Wars 2. I've learned that the jump pack brutes are not only incredibly uh, irritating to deal with, but um, if you play as Aatrox, it takes them to a whole nother level on how irritating they are. Um, and this rush is probably one of the most substantial rushes I've seen so far in Halo Wars 2. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you how I do it real quick. And if you have a different build order or whatever, that's totally fine. Uh, the be the leader I have the best success with is Atriox by far. And I'll show you why once the game loads up. Alright, so what you're going to want to do as soon as the game starts is build a power extractor, two harvesters, and then a grunt squad. And uh, what you're going to do with these grunts is kind of just tell them to pick up supplies uh, and power crates scattered all around the map. Once this power extractor is completed, you're going to want to upgrade this immediately. And um, after that, with these three buildings, you're pretty much set for the rush. What we're going to also do is upgrade these harvesters. Um, and that's about it for our economy. Uh, these last two buildings right here are going to be for raid camps. And uh, the reason for that is because we're going to want to be double pumping or double training, whatever you want to call it, uh, these jump pack brutes. Uh, the reason why you want to pick Atriox is this power right here, countermeasures. It drops mines on uh, newly captured points and slows enemy decap rates. And the most important part of this is jump pack brutes drop trip mines when in flight. So this is going to be really cool. What's going to happen is, is once we make enough uh, jump jump pack brutes when they fly over the base let's say they fly from you know this side to that side when you use their Y ability they're gonna drop mines all across here and if you have enough jump pack brutes it's almost like a carpet bomb from Halo Wars 1 or um, you know the missile strike that they have in Halo Wars 2 uh, it, it's devastational and um, if you get enough of them out you're gonna actually be taking out you know something almost like a turret uh, in terms of health. Uh, you can tell these guys to capture, I usually tell them to capture like one or two points. Um, and just kind of just do nothing but train jump pack brutes. I usually wait until about the five minute mark and uh, you can get pretty close to filling up your population cap. And um, you're going to be getting more resources than power uh, with this setup. And um, so what I like to do is to kind of keep these as you know pretty much just targets for the enemy is train some grunts um, because once you run into an enemy uh, they're going to be attacking pretty much everything so you're going to want to keep your jump pack brutes alive as long as possible um, that's why I recommend some grunts sometimes the enemy will attack the grunts instead of the jump, jump pack brutes um, and a few other things to note is if you get enough power I, I stress that you get more units than uh, the infantry upgrade but while you're heading over to their base uh, you can go ahead and train that if you have the power to do that. Um, and you're really not going to be using the Dark Skies upgrade because it's 600 power after you upgrade to second tech, which upgrading to second tech alone takes forever. Um, now that you have your second leader point, I recommend getting Dying Breath uh, because this uses like zero power, 250 resources and 20 power. And what you can do is when your jump pack brutes are attacking, um, you can activate that leader power and they might uh, attack a building for a little bit longer. So I'm going to tell these guys to group up over here. Uh, kind of gives a little bit of a head start when we do decide to go attack. And then we're just going to keep training this. I usually attack around five minutes. Oh, we're actually low on resources this time. It's probably because we have uh, two power nodes. And if that's the case, then it's probably in your best bet to, um, uh, so they do know what we're doing now, that's great. Let's see, I usually go when I have about, um, I don't know, somewhere between 15 and 20 jump pike brutes, or I wait until about the 5 minute mark and then I attack. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have enough power to get the infantry upgrade 1 while we're on our way over there. Yeah, and usually about somewhere between five and ten grunts will be good enough as a distraction for other units if the if your opponent has uh, infantry already built. 
And uh, let's see. You have 15 with two more training, so that'll be 18. I'll I'll go to 20, and then uh, we'll go attack. And I'll just show you how devastational this uh, upgrade will be. I'll kill up infantry upgrade one there. There we go. And then a few other things I do is I'll set my rally point over here, and um, you know as time goes on, as I get more resources, you know I'll queue up more grunts and jump pack brutes uh, to send over there because if these guys live long enough, uh, you're gonna want some reinforcements to help you out. I'll wait for these guys to kind of group up, and then we will head on over, and uh, I'll just show you firsthand how insane this is. Um, Usually, sometimes, uh, well, it depends on what your allies doing too. You could probably at this point get the third leader point, uh, which I'll always do on Atriox's bulwark, and um, kind of help your units out. Um, and then I would go uh, cleansing beam or glassing beam, whatever, and then eradication um, works best with this strategy. So let's queue up these guys. Looks like we have everyone. Let's go ahead and head over. And you can use uh, the right trigger to select either the grunts or the brutes. Um, so I'll usually tell the grunts to go to one side. Yeah, so I'll tell the grunts to go over here, be a distraction. And then I'll tell them to jump over and watch all these mines just fall. And uh, absolutely just wreck everything. You know, so I'll set my rally point over here, train some more grunts. Just absolutely wipe that base. All right, this dude's playing as uh, Decimus. So he got slaughtered. We are playing on easy, so I can just show you firsthand um, how effective this is. And if any opponents come over here, these mines will get tripped as well, which is also kind of cool. So he has turrets up. I'm gonna tell the grunts to kind of attack the turret. Tell all the brutes to. It's best when all the brutes kind of jump from one angle of the base to the other, like this. And it kind of just damages everything with the mines. And I do have enough to get go a uh, second tech here. And you're going to want to, of course, uh, take out these turrets as quickly as possible. I don't think anyone send this guy to do this. And you can do something like, you know, dying breath on these dudes. They're not going to die, but just as an example. And then the ball walk on them as well. Make them invincible for a couple of seconds. And I'll tell them to jump over since they uh, charge their ability. Look at that. Take out like half the base health. Just from jumping. There we go. So there you have it. That's kind of how to absolutely uh, destroy and decimate people uh, using Jump Pack Brutes as a rush strategy in Halo Wars 2. Um, so far, this has been my favorite strategy um, because if it fails, you really haven't lost that much because you do have a slightly built up economy here and um, you do have infantry upgrade in one. I'm going to go ahead and get this for the hell of it. Um, and you're getting plenty of resources and power in, so if this fails, you can always revert back to, you know, something else. I'm going to be livid if this guy has this space down here, because it's not ending. I'm going to get Dark Skies now. Watch him have that base. Watch him have the base, like, right on my side of the map. That would be funny. Uh, but there is a playlist for all of the strategy videos I have done and uh, will do in the future. Um, try and add, I try and add one maybe like once a week, approximately. And of course I'll be doing more strategy videos as uh, to test out some of the new leaders in Halo Wars 2. He does have that base. Wow. Okay. Jump over then.
You know, sometimes it's like a give and take with how the mines work. Because the mines didn't work that great that time, but that's alright. There we go. He does have an engineer. Just, uh, take care of that. There we go. Send everyone over here. Just so we can't get that base. Oh my. This dude won't give up. But yeah, that concludes the video. Thank you for watching. I'm Andrew from Team Respawn. And I'll see you next time.